Most of us think that when we pray, when we make dua, it's to convince Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give me this or that, or to change God's mind about something. And when our prayer is not answered, we think that God did not give me. God withheld from me. We don't pray to affect God or to convince God because God is all-knowing. He already knows. God doesn't need convincing. And at the same time, we don't pray to affect God or to change Him because God is permanent. When a thing goes through change, when it goes from one state to another, that entails some sort of movement. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is beyond all motion. God is muhit. He's all-encompassing. If we say God moved from one state, the state of not giving, to the state of giving, that means that God was absent from the state of giving before. But God is all-encompassing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not withhold. In Dua Rajab, we say, Oh, he who gives to the one who asks him and the one who doesn't ask him out of his affection and mercy. God gives because it is from his attributes. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is generous. He does not give because of who we are. He gives because of who he is. So then what is the function of prayer if it isn't to change or convince God? We pray so that through our prayer, we become worthy to receive the blessings and gifts that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is forever showering upon his creation. Ya da'im al-fadli ala al-bariya. God already knows your station. So dua is not to inform him of it. It's to inform yourself of it. Al-haakum al-takathur. Abundance distracts you. Multiplicity, katharat. You are consumed by your false sense of abundance. You think yourself to be abundant, that you forget that you're impoverished to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You forget about your own need to God. Prayer transforms us because the moment we pray, truly pray, we remember our neediness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the moment you remember your neediness is the moment you expand your capacity to receive. Because God has already promised Pray to me, ask me, I will answer you. But we don't receive. Why don't we receive? Because you cannot receive until you see yourself as empty. You go to the ocean with just a cup and you tell the ocean to fill your cup with water. The ocean fills your cup, but then you look at the ocean and say, only one cup? But you brought that cup to the ocean. The ocean is infinite, it can give you more but it's through your limited capacity that the cup is all that you've gotten. The more we expand our capacity, the more we're able to receive from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's infinite blessings that God does not like to withhold, but it's our own limited capacity that dictates that that is all that we receive. When we remember our need to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we expand the locus of our hearts. We expand our ability to receive from God's infinite blessings when we remember how much we need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and detach and empty this cup from love of dunya, false attachments, the illusions of this world, when we empty the heart from all of these things, finally the heart can expand and receive Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's gifts and blessings.